has been asking. And we'll see what language it, it is. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Bakhtiar. I am from Azerbaijan, but I was born in Armenia, in Vardinis, and I cannot go to my home as well. Uh, so you mentioned many international uh, reactions, but there are four UN resolutions that uh, demand immediate withdrawal of Armenian troops. Uh, and all member states, UN member states, recognize Nagorno-Karabakh region as the part of Azerbaijan, within the uh, territories of Azerbaijan, including Armenia. And Azerbaijan has offered uh, like the highest autonomy where Armenians and Azerbaijanis can live together. If you need a pen and a pencil, I can give you. Yeah. You measure? Yeah, yeah, I, I will give you. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, it's a gift from, uh, from Azerbaijan. So the second part, uh, you've mentioned that Armenian, uh, Armenians or citizens of other countries with Armenian surnames cannot travel to Azerbaijan, but I would like to remind you that during the closing ceremony of uh, the first European Games, which was held in Baku, Azerbaijani president asked the uh, audience to clap for Armenians and uh, people who won uh, at the uh, first uh, European Games. So my question is, we all understand that peaceful resolution of the conflict is vital for the security, stability, and prosperity of the region. But when uh, you, as the prime minister of one country, visits internationally rec recognized uh, region of another country, Nagorno-Karabakh, and when you say that Nagorno-Karabakh is Armenia, period, how this helps to peaceful peaceful negotiation process. It's because the Azerbaijani That's president Thanks. also responded let that Azerbaijan, let, let Karabakh answer. is Azerbaijan please, and... Please, sir, Pajausta, let him answer. Thank uh, you. First of all, about, about Vartanis, uh, you know, let's remember the times when Armenian, where Armenians were leaving Azerbaijan and when, as a result of that, uh, Azerbaijanis were leaving Armenia. I remember very well on that time. What, why it hap happened? Because Armenians in Azerbaijan were killed in Sumgayet. In Sumgayet, atrocities started, continued to Baku against Armenians. And first of all, and, and that spread to Nagorno-Karabakh, etc., and they not left Azerbaijan. They fled from Azerbaijan. Sometimes it even without clothes. But what happened with Azerbaijanis in Armenia? According to the decision, decision of Armenian government, some buses wo were provided to the Azerbaijani people. There were police escort and no one, no one people, no one person, Azerbaijani, were damaged or, uh, uh, or um, um, hurt within that process. And it is very important and bright picture of the content of this whole, uh, whole um, conflict. About the uh, international, you, you said that Nagorno-Karabakh is internationally recognized part of Azerbaijan. It isn't true because there is internationally established negotiation format named OSCE means group co-chairmanship and the mandate of that format is to decide on final status on Nagorno-Karabakh. Why? And you, you, your, your, your government, your country is involved in the negotiation process. So, if Nagorno-Karabakh is a part of Azerbaijan, internationally recognized, why are you negotiating for the decision, uh, for, for deciding the status of Nagorno-Karabakh? It, it, it isn't it strange. The other part, you, you said that you, uh, you are offering um, uh, high status Nagorno, for Nagorno-Karabakh within the Azerbaijan. By the way, Nagorno-Karabakh had already had that status. Nagorno-Karabakh was autonomous region 
And this status, I called it, I call it interim status, brought all of us to the to this conflict, to this bloody conflict, and to repeat, to 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 final, to repeat and to give or accept one more time this very same status. That means begin from zero, the same conflict and the same way. And my expectation to find to find a solution, as I said to find a solution, as I said, acceptable for people of Armenia, for people of Nagorno-Karabakh, and for people of, um, of uh, Azerbaijan. And on my uh, uh, statement in Stepanakert, before that, I've made a statement, as I said, uh, uh, I've just mentioned, and I was waiting for a year to hear something similar from Azerbaijani government. And I asked personally President Aliyev to make similar statement to have a little, not very big, but little breakthrough in negotiation process. But unfortunately, Azerbaijani government is continuing to claim that Zangezur, a Sunni region of Armenia, is part of Azerbaijan, Yerevan, capital of independent Armenia is an Azerbaijani city, Lake Sevan, a lake which is in Armenia, is Azerbaijani lake, and they are continuing treating to, to occupy not only Nagorno-Karabakh, but also Sunni region, but also capital of Yerevan. So why we, we are making similar statement? Because we don't want to um, cast an impression of afraid, afraid nation, of afraid people. No one is able to speak with us from position of force. And we, we are, we are, uh, we are, our proposal is peace. Our proposal peace. We aren't uh, um, uh, using, we aren't threatening to anyone in our region. And we are willing to prepare our nation, society, Azerbaijani people, people of Nagorno-Karabakh for peace. And we, we, uh, we uh, propose our peace intention to Azerbaijani people and personally me, personally me, I'm ready to start a dialogue not only with Azerbaijani government but also with Azerbaijani people directly because I think we have many things to discuss. Thank you very much. Very, very good. Thanks.